this is the part 4 of the blender lighting and rendering tutorial series. In this blender tutorial we are going to learn the depth of field, the camera focus. Hey there this is Chetan and welcome to CR Entry Designers. Without further ado, let's get started. When we say depth of field, we define the area of the shot in focus. You can see here, this is the simple rendering setup I have created. I have few lights here and here, then one camera at here and I have created layers of images. It means there are three different layers. First one it is the foreground which has these simple objects. Second one it is the midground and it has this blender text. And third one it is the background and it has this grid. So there are three different layers. These layers will help us to understand the depth of field. Now the first it is the deep focus. When both subject and background have shown the crisp details, this is known as a deep focus. Now this blender text is our subject and this grid is our background and these small objects are the foreground element. Okay, now we want to learn the deep focus. When the subject and background have shown the crisp details, it is called the deep focus. If I switch to the camera view, just turn off this annotation, then select your camera and go to the camera data properties and just you need to turn off this depth of field. It means what? You are in the deep focus. If I switch to the render view and you can see the background, midground and foreground. All these three layers are in the sharp focus and you can clearly see the visual information of these objects. Shot with the deep focus offers more information visually to the viewer. Deep focus is a great way to ensure that each elements in the frame be clear or you want to create layer images with the action in foreground, midground and background. So this is about the deep focus. Now the next one it is the shallow focus. If I switch to the camera view and if I turn on this depth of field option, now I will get that shallow focus. A shallow focus renders the portion of the frame in the sharp details while leaving the rest of the image soft. So you can see here the focus object and here I need to select the object which I want in a sharp focus. So I can select this and here you need to select the text because I want this text should be in the sharp focus. And now you can see the results at here. I'm getting this blender text in the sharp focus while leaving the rest of the image soft. The soft portion can be your background, your foreground or both. In this scenario I have foreground as well as the background. And my midground is in the focus. That's why foreground and background are soft. There are many uses of the shallow depth of field. For romantic effect, to view the element with a mini, to isolate the subject, you can use the shallow depth of field. Shallow depth of field is also used to create a bokeh effect, where out of focus point of the light blur. Most shots use some degree of shallow depth of field and it is useful for guiding the audience attention or to suggest the character's emotional state. So this is about the shallow depth of field. Third one, it is the soft focus. Soft focus refers to shot when no portion of the frame in sharp focus. Now if I remove this text from this focus object, here you can see in the frame, there is not a single element which is in the focus. So this is called the soft focus. Soft focus is used to create the land atmosphere to create a dream sequence or to create a flashback. So these are the uses of the soft focus. In this simple tutorial we have learned what is the depth of field, deep focus, shallow focus, then soft focus. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.